Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Hopper Realtors. Well, I'm back at the resort-style community of Cibolo Canyons, and the reason I'm here is because I got buyers getting ready to put money down on the house right behind me. This is house is built by Imagine Home, and it's the exact same floor plan as their model home, which I've done a video tour of before. The difference is, this is gonna give a good uh, representation of what a house looks like when it doesn't have every bell and whistle in it, but it does have quite a bit of them. The uh, square footage is 3142. This is technically a three bedroom. However, the office has a closet, so that can be uh, used as a fourth bedroom. It's a beautiful home. Let's go check it out. I do absolutely love this floor plan. You're gonna see why when we go inside. But before we do, let's check out what uh, the community is looking like now. A lot has changed since the last time I did my motorcycle tour of this community because it has exploded. So if you haven't seen my motorcycle tour, check it out. But there are several builders. I know Highland, that's a Highland home right there. They don't have any more lots to sell. Chessmar is quickly running out. And Imagine Homes, which is what this is, only has th four houses left, but they're all kind of spec homes. So um, you don't really have your own lot to be able to choose from. So things are moving quickly out here at Madero in Cipolo Canyons. So. Uh, Without further ado, let's go on inside. All right, this home already has some beautiful landscaping done. I love that tall entryway right in between it. There are a few steps because the hill goes from the front to the top, but they're not bad. Look at this beautiful eight foot door here. I'm glad to see they got the little rain glass in here for privacy. Look at this. Oh, before we go, let's go all the way up and look at this super cool light up here. Now this home just came back available because somebody else had bought it, picked everything out, and they had some beautiful selections. Everything was done, including little things like the fancy door handles, eight foot doors, all this stuff was already chosen. They were supposed to close on this house a while back, but unfortunately for them, their financing fell through. But good thing for my clients, this is a wonderful house that uh, they were really hoping on being able to get. And it popped back on the market just as we were looking. So we do have a room right up front with a really nice deep closet space. And uh, like I just mentioned the doors, these are eight foot doors in this house. So that really gives a high end feel for it. The uh, bathroom right up front, like I said, the people who did pick everything out really put some, uh, put some money into this house. The herringbone uh, back splash there, the upgraded lights. And I do like the color selection they chose. They do have the upgraded uh, flooring in here. These are ceramic tile, wood-like tiles. This is the office that can be turned into a bedroom because you can see they do have the closet back there. But they have the upgraded ceiling there, lots of lights. The original without this would have been just the fan light but they've got the upgraded fancy fan and the four can lighting. So you're gonna have plenty of lights in this office slash bedroom. Once again, another deep closet. Like I said, those are the French doors, which you can talk to the builder. They might be able to swap out those doors to put, give you a little privacy for when you are using this as a bedroom. All right, here's the difference between the model home, which I've done a video tour of, they had a wet bar right here. But in this house, they have an extended pantry. So you are gonna have a difficult time filling up this pantry. So lots and lots of shelves going up quite high, but let's check out this kitchen. This kitchen is really, really nice. You do have the two-tone, the island, and uh, rest of the cabinets are two different colors. They went with a white with the, uh, like a dark gray, which is really nice. 
<clears throat> pardon me, but check out this oven. This is a beautiful KitchenAid oven that has Wi-Fi capabilities so you can actually get the oven warming using an app while you're on your way home. And it's got a little griddle right there for cooking up eggs. Uh, very nicely done. Let's see, there is a switch for lights somewhere. I don't know where it's at, so I'm not gonna look at it. But all the hardware's already been chosen. You got spice racks. This hardware is extra normally, so if you'd gone to the design center, all of that would have been an extra. And they got the beautiful brass hardware and the sink. This would have been a nice little upgrade going to the design center, getting the granite sill sink. But uh, once again, the upgraded faucets and upgraded lights. Everything in this house has already been upgraded and they did a beautiful job of it. No refrigerator, the buyers are going to buy their own fridge. But uh, yeah, this place is beautiful. And this is where the formal dining room area would be with some beautiful lights right there. And look at all this space you're gonna have to do so many activities. Once again, upgraded lighting in here so there's plenty of lights and a very cool modern fan. The fireplace can be operated by remote and you do have the plug in the floor for your remote cap, I mean your powered couches. Lots and lots of windows in here. So this is also a very energy efficient house. So uh, you're not gonna worry about high utility bills. The lot itself, right through those trees there, you end up on uh, the uh, a PGA rated golf course. So you're never gonna, ever gonna have anybody behind you. It does have kind of a split level yard but lots and lots of space out here. With of course an outdoor rated ceiling fan, but you can put a light on the bottom of that if you choose to. But uh, yeah, you're gonna have a very quiet neighborhood. I already got some landscaping done. It's already pre-plumbed for a gas grill. But yeah, this is, a, this is a great spot. If you ever see water dripping out of that little white spot up there, that's going to be your overflow for your uh, air conditioner unit. That just means your primary valve is clogged. Pretty easy to fix that problem, but that's the excess overflow. All right, let's go check out the owner suite. And then I'll show you the extra space. Once again, eight foot doors, super tall ceilings in here, upgraded modern fan, and lots of space in this bedroom. Little mini French doors leading into the owner's suite bathroom. But check out the size of that tub. That is a big soaking tub. Got linen cabinets, two different linen cabinets. Still more upgraded modern lighting. The framed mirrors, which the frame mirrors, I'm always shocked when I go to the design center to find out just how expensive the frame mirrors are, but that's what builders do. Then we got this massive shower here. The inset shower, instead of a regular plastic mud pan, some fancy dancy tile work right there. You do have a granite seat right there. That's a little different. It's kind of a different granite too. Got your water closet right there. Your let me check myself before I go out mirror. Then you got a his and her side of this really big master closet. Place for long dresses. And then you can probably guess whose side this is gonna be. But still plenty of room. 
for uh, two layers of clothes. Is there another rack back there? Nope, that's all there is. But man, this is beautiful. And these, these tiles here, they're square, but they're really big and kind of marbleishly looking, if that's a word. But uh, yeah, that's, that's a pretty cool place. All right, now, one of the reasons I like this house so much is in the upstairs. And that's where we're headed right now. A little slow look at the kitchen here. We do have a nice little mud room right here. Oh, we haven't even been down this hallway yet. So, uh, one of the things I like seeing people doing is get a little creative in the laundry room because it doesn't cost too much to put a little accent piece for the tiles. Now this, however, is typically a pretty good upgrade to get these cabinets in here. And they carry the granite into that. And of course, those are upgraded as well. So the original purchasers of this house have put a lot of money in upgrades. So that's why the price is what it is. And no, I'm not gonna say on YouTube what my clients are looking to get this house for. But uh, well, I guess I can say the seller is asking 555 for it. We're still in negotiation of price, what we're gonna offer. So I'm not gonna say what we got, but having a realtor and uh, we're gonna ask for a little bit less, but I'm not gonna go into what that is. But right now it is February 27th, 2021. And so that's what the market is right now for these houses. All right, in the model home of this house, these windows aren't here. So the builder put extra windows in that this is a Madrid 3 plan, just to create some more light. And it kind of feels like you're in a uh, uh, lighthouse effect. But look at this, uh, lots of this extra space up here. Perfect for media room, playroom, poker room, whatever you want to do. And, it's got a little fancy dancy uh, chill refrigerator there. Let's see if the light comes on as I walk up to it. Yep, there's the light. So if you got a bottle of wine in there, it's gonna reach out and say, drink me. But upgraded cabinets already here. Nice little dry bar. We do have our little Texas basement. And I said the same thing when I did the model tour of the house before. But one of the things that Imagine Homes to claim to fame is their insulation. And they do a lot of spray foam insulation making sure your utility bills are gonna stay quite low. So this is a train air conditioning unit. So uh, yeah, nothing but quality there. But wait, there's more. You still have your own another bathroom up here. A full bath at that with another really nice tall walk-in shower. The herringbone detail there and of course the upgraded light fixture. And they got some fancy tile there on the floor and another bedroom up here. Perfect for uh, if you have a kiddo that just won't leave the house. If you let them move in with you here, they will never leave the house. So keep that in mind. I know some of my jokes are repeating themselves and you're probably like, hey, he said that before. But it does have a little pretty good sized closet here. So they got a little mini walk-in uh, closet that's bigger than the ones in the two bedrooms downstairs. But notice the, bed, the doors up here because the ceilings aren't as tall. 
they've, you've got kind of your standard height doors. All right, let's head back downstairs. All right, that's gonna wrap up the tour of this beautiful home built by Imagine Homes in Seminole Canyons, the Maduro section. Remember, this is the Madrid 3. It is the square footage is 31, 40 something. So uh, I love this home. It's a beautiful home. All the extra upgraded details on it makes this home absolutely stunning. If my buyers get this house, I think they're gonna be really happy with it. So if you guys want any more information about Imagine Homes, the community, or if you're thinking about moving to this area, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be on the last slide of the screen. Looking forward to hearing from you. And as always, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and share this with your friends. Talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.